Hello YouTube, Melissa here from my 100 pound meltdown coming to you with back to plan day 7 and week 25 weekly update. So I have good and bad news so I'm going to start with the good news instead. The good news is that I lost another half inch in my thighs which brings me to a total of 17 and a half inches lost since I began my journey 25 weeks ago on May 29th. And I just, I haven't done a body shot in a while, so I thought I would stand up. And while I'm standing up, I thought I would show you um, what it looks like with the measuring tape, my inches uh, lost. So. Here's me. And now I'm just going to show you. So my waist, I have lost six inches in my waist. So this is where my waist used to be. So as you can see, that's where my waist used to be when I started. For my hips, I've lost five inches. And my hips used to be here. Here's where my hips used to be. My thighs, I've lost two inches. Usually I don't do it with pants on, but just to kind of show. So, lost two inches in my thigh. That's where it used to be. My bust, I've lost three and a half inches, which definitely is not a place that women like to lose their weight. So that's where it used to be. Hard to show. That's where it used to be. And I've lost only just an inch in my arms. And I don't usually do it with clothes on either. So you can't really tell. <laughs> With the clothes on, it pretty much comes out to about the same. So I wanted to really focus on the good this week because the bad is I had another gain. I gained only 0.2. So it's a very small gain. It could be... Um, I'm hoping that it's because I've been putting on muscle because I've been concentrating really hard on my strength training and I did lose another half inch this week in my thigh. And so I'm hoping it's that. It could also be water retention, especially since I made that poor choice of eating that Chinese food for lunch yesterday. So it could be that. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe I've, I've hit a plateau. <laughs> because now I've had three weeks, uh, two small gains, and a maintain, so it could be that. Um, I'm not sure, but the way that I'm trying to combat it and keep my motivation high is I'm focusing on the positive and how far I've come, and that's why I wanted to show you how far I've come in my weight loss journey. And another measurement I wanted to get was my body fat measurement. I haven't had my body fat done um, for a while. When I first started, I had it done at the YMCA, and they used the little machine that you hold up, and it tells you what your body fat percentage was. And mine, I hate to even say it, was 45%. It was a huge eye-opener for me to see 45% body fat. That is almost half of my body is fat. So needless to say, yeah, I'm on this weight loss journey and I am going to work hard. So because I haven't done it for a while, um, I asked a good friend of mine and he said the best way to measure body fat is with a body fat caliber. So I went out and bought one today because I thought, I need some encouragement. I need to know that my body fat percentage has gone down. And it came in a package with this booklet. And it is basically, you use it to measure a skin fold on your abdomen. The instructions are in here. 
and then the measurement that you get on here goes to a chart that's in here. And on the chart, and they say that this is accurate to 1.1 percent to um, gold standard underwater weighing results. They say this is more accurate than those digital things that send an electric current through your body. This is supposed to be more accurate. Apparently this is what they even use like in a doctor's office or that sort of thing. So it's supposed to be pretty accurate and according to the chart and my measurement it would mean that I'm at about 38 percent now body fat. So that means I would have lost about 7 percent body fat. So yay! <laughs> I still have a long way to go. I mean the healthy range in here what they say is the ideal would be about 21.5% to 25%. But to be lean, it's below that. So it's going to take me a long time. I, I don't anticipate being at my very healthy body fat percentage when I reach my goal weight. I think it's something I'm still going to be working on with exercise and um, strength training. So that is that, and oh, and my BMI has gone down from 42.9 to 38.9. So this is kind of be a little bit of a long video. Uh, I, the only thing I can do with my gain that I had again this week is um, learn from it. I think I did well with my back to plan, except for, you know, yesterday when I made a poor choice and had the Chinese food. And I learned a lot doing this. And actually, I learned a very uh, interesting tip from Little Fat Me blog in our conference on Thursday night that I am going to try out this week. And I'm going to see how that goes. And uh, I'm just tweaking my numbers. I, I think I'm going to eat no more than 32 points uh, per day, which some days I've been going over that. And I think I'm going to cut that. And um, basically, Little Fat Me's suggestion was, uh, Little Fat Me blog suggestion was that to split my 35 activity points throughout the week, which I do already, but to allot that, you know, just five points per day. But if I don't use it that day, cross it out. Don't try to use it again throughout the week, which that's kind of something I have been doing. I mean, if I use my 35 points for the week. But maybe if I do cut myself off just at that day, give myself that extra five points for the day, but then if I don't need it that day, they're gone. So then I have the next extra five points the next day. I mean, maybe that's what I need right now to get me back into the loss stage on the scale, uh, especially with Thanksgiving coming up. Uh, there's a lot of stress with that and all the food and things that are coming and I need to have a plan in action. So my plan is I'm going to drink my water. I am going to eat no more than 32 points per day. And I am going to get in 30 minutes of activity every day. And um, I, I've gotten a little slack in that a bit um, with my classes because uh, I've started a new um, title, new job, sort of speak at, at my work and I am now doing something different over the last three weeks and it's caused me a little bit of stress and I've been exhausted and tired and I've, I have kind of slacked a bit and not gone to the classes that I'm used to going. So I'm going to be very strict with that and say if I'm not going to make it to the class at the gym then I need to do 30 minutes of activity at home. So that's my plan for the week and I'm hoping to really come back with a loss next week. I will not be doing daily <laughs> videos this week. Um, that was last week with the back to plan mini challenge. I'm just going to be pushing myself this week and I'm hoping that the little changes I'm going to try to make this week will make the difference on the scale next week. So hope everyone's having a great week and talk to you all soon. Bye.